and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I have my friend Keith with us. How you doing, Keith? How's it going, Mark? And today we're going to be riding to... Jack Park. And that's in Tigard? Yep, yeah, up on Bull Mountain. All right, and so Keith's going to be riding the Aerial Rider Grizzly as we got it out of the mothballs for this ride. We haven't had it out too much lately, but it'll be fun to take it out today. And I'll be riding the Lyric Graffiti right there. That's the 2022 edition. So here we go. Sounds good. Hopefully we don't get lost. No, <laughs> we'll make it. This is one park I definitely haven't been to and Keith isn't quite sure if he's been there or not. He, we're gonna find out though. Oh, yeah. So I need to uh, make sure my batteries are on here. All right. And we're ready to rock and roll. So this will be a little bit faster ride. It was looking like it was going to be a cool ride here this morning, but it's warming up rapidly. It's in the uh, 56 degree range or so right now. So, uh, I had to ditch my heavier jacket for a lighter windbreaker jacket. So I failed to mention that uh, this is Memorial Day weekend and so Happy Memorial Day uh, to everyone out there. Hope you're having a great Memorial Day weekend. So Seeing as it's Memorial Day weekend, I did want to make mention too that there are a lot of uh, electric bike deals going on right now, good, some good sales. So if there's a bike you've been eyeing for a while, or maybe you don't, you haven't been eyeing one, but you want to know what's out there, uh, check out. Uh, pretty much any e-bike out there, I bet you they're going to be on sale. There's a lot of sales and some really good deals uh, to go with that. Also, I want to mention that the Graffiti X, I'm riding the Lyric Graffiti right now, but the Graffiti X is going to be going up for sale once again on Tuesday. And if you want to get in early, Uh, to save 15% off that $39.99 price, you got to reserve it by tomorrow before Tuesday, by Monday, as I record this on Sunday, so that you have the opportunity to save yourself 15% on the bike. And yes, I've already ordered my Graffiti X and uh, expected delivery is August so uh, looking forward to that for sure
Nice sunny day today. So as we take both bikes out today, both the Aerial Rider Grizzly and the Lyric Graffiti. Uh, I've got one battery on the Lyric Graffiti fully charged. The other one is not quite fully charged, but it's not too far off. And the Aerial Rider Grizzly was showing 100%, but I don't think it was quite fully charged. But it was pretty close. The lights weren't green when we come out for the ride, but that was close. That's pretty fun going off right there, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, only this one's a hardtail. Yeah. Be better with the uh, full suspension on that kind of stuff. But. As usual, lots of crap in the uh, bike lane here.
I don't know. I think it's just no cars. Is that dirt there, a dirt trail? Yeah, there's people down there. Can you get through there? <laughs> Looks like a nice hill climb there. Yeah, I didn't come off people driving through there. Somebody took out the pole. I have to do uh, a little shimmy with my handlebars to get through there. Okay. So is this it? We made it to Jack Park. Yeah, I gotta get used to this thing all over again. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna ask you, how is it feeling? You've been used to riding the torquey. rad and the ride one up. Oh man, this thing just goes. I know. Instant it's, power. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it just it does 30 miles an hour effortless. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's. It's crazy. Yeah. It, it feels. I don't know. The Rad Rover feels a little bit more stable, I guess. I, I guess the smaller bikes ride a little different. You definitely have to get used to it again. But yeah, yeah it depends what style of bike you like. There's, they're both good, right, in their own oh, way. Yeah. If you want more of a pedal leisure bike, you know, if you want to go a little bit more adventurous, then yeah, you want an Aerial Rider Grizzly or a Lyric Graffiti. But something does feel different on this Grizzly. I wonder if just because it's kind of it's a heavier bike or if it's just top heavy I'm not sure but it it rides differently but it rides nice and smooth though very powerful and just a fun bike oh it's yeah it's got a lot of weight behind it it's a it's a tank I always yeah. call that a tank there's nothing I don't think that this bike can't do I guess like in the Rad Rover and the the Cafe Cruiser you feel almost weightless you know you don't really feel the weight of the bike this thing you feel the weight of the bike yeah, it's it's got yeah. some uh, some weight to it compared to like the rad is, is only about 68 pounds. You're looking at 40 pounds more. That's quite a bit. Yeah. I'm really thinking the weight distribution is a little high on this. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of want to ride your lyric and see how it compares. I mean, how do, do you know a difference? Like, do uh, you notice anything? The thing I notice about the two bikes is that this one. Okay, the Lyric, uh, or the uh, Aerial Rider Grizzly has a little more takeoff. Oh, for sure, yeah. Uh, uh, on the start, but on the, uh, after that, uh, I like the smoothness of this bike, the, the Lyric Graffiti. I, it just rides, it's a different kind of a ride. That one to me is like a pickup truck. And you're riding along, you know, it's a little bumpier, you know, a little more. Whereas yeah, this, this one's this one's smoother, yeah. even though it doesn't have full suspension. I'm really looking forward to getting the new Graffiti X because I think the full suspension, that will it's going it to nice. top that bike off. I mean, between that and a little more get up and go, the 60 volt, you know, a little. I like the two batteries okay, but that's 35 amp hour. I think I prefer a one battery setup. Um, and also, I'm going to like the uh, direct drive motor again. I like that as opposed to the loudness and and the, of the uh, the geared. I yeah. like the I like the quietness and the smoothness of the direct drive motor. The rear motor is not too bad on the Grizzly, but when you put that front motor on it, it does get loud. And another thing is, you know how you're saying the Lyric, it takes off really slow. I think I would prefer that because that thing is, is so jerky. It kind of it's almost scary to kind of take off and go around the corner like. Slowly. Well, you want to you want to make sure you do not have both motors. Uh, yeah. Uh, engaged at the and same time and even then the twist of the throttle is just so slight, yeah it is you know? it's you all be, it's a little touchy yeah, you want to be right. really careful on it <laughs> it's an off-road bike like that that's a great you know dirt bike for sure yeah, yeah.